A change in climate also means more frequent and more severe storms and flooding. That puts people at immediate risk of being injured or killed by debris, down power lines, or floodwaters. After a severe storm or flooding event, possible health risks are contaminated food or drinking water, bacteria, viruses, and toxic chemicals in floodwaters, mold, and difficulty accessing healthcare services like emergency help, prescribed medications, and supplemental oxygen. In these events, older residents, people with disabilities, and lower-income households are more at risk. They may all have a harder time fleeing from a storm and may face more health risks if they can't evacuate. One thing we often miss? The mental toll. First responders who witness countless tragedies and residents who are forced to flee are more vulnerable to anxiety and depression, even those who have no history of mental illness. To prepare, communities can find out which neighborhoods, people, and resources are most at risk, upgrade infrastructure such as roads and sanitary sewer systems, and educate residents on how to stay safe during and after an extreme weather event such as avoiding driving in flooded areas.